Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I'll be reviewing the latest from Coach called Platinum. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As always, I really do appreciate it. Before we get on with this review, I just want to let you know that this bottle was sent to me by my good friend Ricky Kanda over at Alpha Fragrances. If you don't know what Alpha Fragrances is, it's a company founded by my friend Ricky. He does the cans of niche designer and a whole bunch of stuff and some full bottles as well. I didn't get a full bottle from him. He just sent me 10 mil left in the actual presentation. The new Platinum version was just released in August of 2018. Here's the box that it comes in. Here is the flacon, which is Platinum colored, same shape as the original from last year. And I just found out that this cap actually closes. You can close it if you twist it sideways like that, and then twist it like that to open. Coach Platinum was composed by Bruno Jovanovic. The notes are sage, sandalwood, pepper, pineapple, juniper berries, geranium, cashmere, leather, and vanilla. It comes in a 60 ml bottle for $72 and a 100 ml bottle for $92. There's your spray. The original Coach released last year was an Eau de Toilette concentration. This new one, the Platinum, is an Eau de Parfum concentration. I didn't love the original right away, but it grew on me and I wound up getting a bottle and it made a good work then. What I get from the new Platinum is a burst of pineapple in the beginning. It's bright, it's fresh. It doesn't last very long. It kind of dies down. It goes a little green, the fragrance, very aromatic, geranium and the sage. And the dry down is vanilla, but it's not overly sweet. I get a slight leather note and I definitely get the woods. It transforms from fresh and dries down to woody, vanillic, and a little leather. In comparison of the two, I don't think that they smell alike, just in the, the mass appealing quality. They both have that. I find the new Platinum to be perhaps a little more mature. It's a little more polished and not quite as bright as the original. I think this one is really nice and it wouldn't be redundant to own both, but if I had a choice to pick only one, I would probably go with the Platinum. Projection is good. It's not beast mode, but you definitely have a cloud around you and longevity is average, I'd say. I'd expect the Note de Parfum to possibly perform better, but it projects for the first two hours, then it gets closer to the skin. So on my skin, I got about four to five hours, which if I like the fragrance, if I love the fragrance, it's okay by me. And this is one that I wouldn't mind respraying. In the string of fragrances that I've tested this year, designer wise that is, I think this is one of the best that I've smelled this year. I'm not telling you it's the best fragrance in the world and oh my God, you gotta go run out and get this, but it's definitely worth getting your nose on. That is for sure. I could definitely see myself buying a bottle down the line, maybe when it gets to the discounters, what have you. But if anything, drop by Macy's or Dillard's. I think it's exclusive to Dillard's for about a month that it's already been out for about two weeks and get your nose on it if you have the opportunity. Well guys, that's all I have for you today on the new Coach Platinum, short and sweet like I always do. If you would like to test this, you can hit up alpha slash fragrances.com. I'll leave the link down below. And if you use code BFL, we'll get you 5% off of a sample of the new Coach Platinum. Well guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't been a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you at the next review.